Jody, it is you. I... I need your help. And Laura, of all the people, how did you even know I'd left Kashik? I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunring. But I heard the Salkath mention you and your friends. The Force has brought you to help us. Why? Whatever could be the matter, my dear? It's horrible, Jolene. Sunray has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Murder? But how? It's all a mistake, Jolie. Sunray isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Calm down, Laura. Where's Sunray now? Sunray's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, go to the courts. Talk to the judges. Maybe the Selkath will listen to you. Don't worry, Laura. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunray. Somehow. your sunray's only hope. We have to at least try to help him. Yes, but it almost seems too heavily stacked, doesn't it? Very suspicious. Speaking of that injury, has it been taken into consideration, Your Honor? Don't 
Simply because it was real does not mean Sunny would have overlooked it being in Elasa's hand. <laughs> Kiatro 
Judge for a change. And on dancing, so let Tanikos Tiboro do Sanghiro. You said it, not I. <laughs> Ki 
Yes. Uh. Huh? When I get out of here, you're dead! I'll gut your fishy little corpse, cut off your head, and bathe in your blood! <laughs> I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire? You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame-up. Anyone looking at the evidence could see that. Or so I thought. But the cell cast seem to think that there's... Well, if there's enough to go to trial, there aren't any witnesses. All that evidence against me is circumstantial and completely flawed. Well, I was at the hotel, I admit. And I did meet Elasa there that night, but it's not what you think. I, uh, I was working with Republic Intelligence. We were pretending to feed information to the Sith. 
Well, I turned Alessa into a double agent working for us. It was going well, too, until she turned up dead. Hmm. Maybe the Sith had found out I was turning her and had her eliminated. But let's look at the facts they've given. Alassa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes closer to crime scene. Would I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even I'm not that stupid. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame-up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the Cellcat, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly and clear my name. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. I guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. The Selkath already did that, but the fish folk don't have much rapport with offworlders. Maybe one of them was holding something back. But I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe you could find some proof they planted evidence to frame me. Though that might mean figuring out a way into the Sith embassy. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you... How would they know? They weren't there. I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she was alive when I left. I wonder if the Sith have been putting pressure on people to get them to convict me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They've had it in for me since the war. You should ask everyone about that. They might admit to helping the Sith under pressure. Go ahead, ask. Oh. Very well. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go to trial, just tell the warden we're ready. The sooner I get out of the cell, the better. I never did, did I? Elusive? Me elusive? 
Obviously, you've never tried to grab a Twi'lek dancing girl after drinking too much Andarin Willick juice. At any rate, I already told you why I wanted to leave. I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashik. Time to go. Time to move on. To bed. I'm old and tired, you know. How many kilometer high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I'd bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. And then there's all the critters in the Shadowlands. I'm just happy to be back in space, doing something new. Is that too much to ask? So I could. Well, not having a ship does tend to put a damper on that kind of idea, however. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashik was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. Of course not. Weren't you listening last time? I can see that you have a destiny before you, but the details are far from clear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something... something is very dark about you. But... ah, I'm sure you don't need to hear my ruminations. You've probably got enough nosy Jedi offering you one opinion after another to make you sick. Your future will come of its own accord, trust me. Sometimes navel-gazing at it doesn't get you anywhere. I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. You remind me a bit of Nomi. <laughs> and that can't be all bad. No me, Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, fine, fine lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen, 
For one thing, we'll never get anywhere if you stand around chatting up old men all day. Nonsense. If I ever refused to help you when you asked, how confused can one person be anyway? One thing I will say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Ah, those were exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? You're too young to be so talkative. Shoo! Shoo! You're the one defending Sunry now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunry comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunry running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though. Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he left after the shot went off. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, just barely. But I wouldn't say that to the court. No, no way I'm lying to the court just because you want to get your Republic buddy off or whatever. I have no interest in going to prison. No, no way I'm lying. That's a lot of money. Maybe I could do something for you then. All right, I'll do it. I'll tell the cell cat that he left before the shot went off, but this is our little secret. If you try and turn me in for lying, I'm making sure you come with me. I see you are more interested in winning than trying to solve this case. I cannot say I approve of your actions here. Now, was there anything else you wanted? Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunry would come by a couple hours later and stay all night. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what was going on. There were only two other people in the hotel when it happened. One was a Rodian named Glupor. Seems like a really dirty, shifty type. Normally I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable businessman, you know. But there weren't many people here, so I decided to take a chance. The other is a regular named Feareth Me. He's a Pazak player, probably an addict, but he claims he's big in some circles. Don't know anything about him other than that. Anything else you want to know? Well, okay.
You with the cell, Kath? You here to see me about the murder, too? I told the damn fish everything I knew. What more do you all want from me? Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alas's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with their damn antics, usually. I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, in private, is their business. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. Ah, uh, well, Elasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. Well, one time, I saw Elasa coming in wearing this big cloak. I was on my way to my room, and she normally wears stuff like that, so I didn't pay her too much attention. But this time, I accidentally brushed up against her. Accidentally, of course. And her cloak fell open. Now, I don't have any qualms about the Sith. I leave them alone, and they leave me alone. And seeing as how Alasa had a Sith lightsaber under her cloak, I'm not going to poke that hornet's nest. Seems so. But I'm not getting myself in any further with the Sith. I know how ruthless they are. Now, that's all I'm going to tell you. I'll testify it to the court, but you aren't going to get anything else out of me. Lupor <laughs> Sunday murder trial, are you not? Hmm. This case is not at all what it appears to be. The many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes?
I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They've both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. No, of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the common market? You would have to be devious to get what you want. Heed my advice, Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. Tyberg, how's it going? Kiwa e aita kan kicha na jupor nipo kun muri ras nimo poi wanga tangi tuama ji human ak in ikatune. Ah, glad to hear it. Hey, this stuff's all for the Republic Embassy, so can you just bill it to them? Kakin cha na wa bagaon bagwa shon konti machit um kiwi ai tong.
jolly. Coming to check in on an old man? I must confess, I... I would rather you were here to speak to the Warden and begin my trial. Soon, old friend. But we don't want to go to trial until we've got the whole picture. Oh, I grow weary of staring at these four bare walls. But I suppose you know what you're doing. You know, the role of Arbiter cannot be taken lightly. Well, I was at the... I, uh, it was... But let... Uh, my... Of it. Any... Go... We... Uh, I... Don't... No, what this must look like, yes. Yes, we were having an affair. I know it was wrong, but I'm a weak man. Alasa was beautiful and young. How was I to resist her charms? But I didn't kill her. I loved her. Please. I know I made a terrible mistake getting involved with Alasa, but I was going there to break it off with her. I did it, but found out later that she was dead. I don't deserve to go to jail just for having an affair, do I? You have to help me prove that I wasn't the killer. Go ahead. So the truth is out. I never meant to kill her, you know. When I found out she was a Sith spy using me to gain information, that something inside me just snapped. She didn't know I had found out. So I waited until she fell asleep. And then I... I killed her. Simple, really. But once I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. I contacted those spies from the Republic to help me. They found the illegal monitoring device that the Sith had planted in the room, altered its recording to hide my part in it, and cleared up the evidence. I figured that was the end of it. The Sith must have been spying on me and Alasa, trying to make sure she wasn't a double agent. They must have seen the Republic spies getting rid of all the evidence. So they planted their own evidence. Elasa must have stolen that hero's cross from me long ago and given it to her Sith masters like some kind of trophy. I just thought I'd misplaced it. But when the cross turned up on her body, I knew the Sith had put it there. So, now you know the whole story. What are you going to do? Sunri is a murderer. I'm sorry, old friend, but you are. I... I can't approve of this. You go ahead, however, if that's what you think is best. I'm glad you decided to see reason in this. If I'm convicted, it could cause trouble for the Republic Embassy here on Manan. And none of us want that now, do we? I'm sick of hearing. Manon should treat us Sith better. The Silkath have forgotten the lesson of Taurus. Perhaps we should remind them.
No. I'll rot in here if I have to. But I won't betray the Republic. Do what you have to. But no... I hear you've been appointed as Arbiter in Sunra's trial. My husband is innocent. Please don't let him go to jail for a crime he didn't commit. Yes, 
It is an honor to see justice served. And I will see Sunri is executed for the crime he has committed. The man I saw leaving, Sunri, left before I heard the blaster shot. Impossible! <laughs> You are feareth me, the well-known Pazak player. I wonder if we can trust the word of a, a gambler as reliable testimony. Your Honor. Feareth me, what did you see the night of the murder? Well, I came out into the hallway after hearing the blaster shot and saw Sunri over there limping down the hall out of the building. <laughs> A very obvious point, Your Honors. The accused was seen leaving the scene of the crime after the blaster that killed Elasa was fired. <laughs> You mean, actually see him kill her with my own eyes? Well, no, but I don't think there could have been anyone else there. <laughs> I think it may have been. I mean, you'd have to be pretty stupid to leave something that important lying around, wouldn't you?
Yes, from what I could tell, she carried a lightsaber under that cloak of hers. Objection! That doesn't prove she was a Jedi. Well, he was moving pretty fast running away, but yeah, I mean, how could he kill a Sith warrior in combat? I don't know for sure. Glupal the Rodian, you were staying in the hotel the night of the murder and saw Sunri leaving Alasa's room, didn't you? <laughs> This is clear, then, that Sunri left the room with the Sith Elasa already dead behind him. <laughs> Don't do it, Lupo. Lies! Slander! I object! Oh, 
You, Elora, are Sunri's lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between the Sith Empire and the Republic. He was crippled in that war. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes. I guess he would. And there you have motive. Sunri seeks revenge on the Sith for what they did to him and killed Elasa. <laughs> Yes. Yes, it was true. He was having an affair with that Sith harlot. It seems painfully obvious that he killed her to keep her quiet about the affair. <laughs> He'd been seeing her for some time, I think. But he said he was going to change. He'd gone there that night to end it. We talked the night before and he'd promised. But now things have become so very complicated. Yes, he fought against the Sith in the last war. He fought bravely and was even awarded the Hero's Cross. I don't know how much that means to the Sith or to your Selkath, your honors. But in the Republic, it is awarded only to the bravest, most valorous, most honorable men. The kind of man who earns that medal would not kill someone in cold blood. <laughs> I wish to call forth Sunri himself, Your Honours. Are you a war hero, Mr. Sunri? You fought in wars against the Sith Empire, correct? Yes, that's right. And I don't regret it either. The Republic needs its heroes. Indeed. Would you say that you dislike the Sith? Even hate them? Of course I hate them! Trying to take over the galaxy every chance they get, killing millions of innocents? Pure politics. Were you in Alasa's room on the night of the murder? Well, yes, I, I was. I had been having an affair with Alasa and my wife, yes. But I realized how wrong I'd been, and I was going there to end it. You were having an affair with a Sith. You wanted to end it quickly and quietly, so you killed her from behind and tried to flee. No, I... I think we can see the answer clear enough, Mr. Sunry. I don't know. The medal had gone missing some time ago. I never found out what happened to it. It's possible the Sith had stolen it and had it planted on the body. 
Supposition, Your Honors? Yes, I think they would. They wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them anything. They... they might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. The Sith Empire is not the barbaric institution you portray it to be. He's gone. I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. Sunri was having an affair with Elasa. He sought to end it, and the simplest, quickest method, giving his hatred of the Sith, was to simply kill her. Witnesses saw Sunri fleeing the scene, and material evidence places him there at the time of the murder as well. I am confident that any informed observation of the facts will lead the judges, your honors, to this very conclusion. The Sith would not leave the medal of her killer clutched in her hand. Oh, that doesn't mean a thing. He was there, running from the room.
Your honors! No! Elora, we have done all we could for you, old friend. Thank you for saving me. I don't know how I can repay you. Elora and I are going to leave here and get as far away from all this as soon as we can. I and the Republic will not forget what you've done for us. Thank you. <laughs> 